false information or misinformation travels farther, faster, deeper, and broader on social media, uh, more broadly, I should say, on social media than the truth. And that's a huge problem when you're having, for instance, a terrorist attack or a natural disaster uh, where people are trying to get to a safe place or understanding where the threat is. If misinformation is moving more rapidly through social media, it can create some horrible outcomes for individuals. So I would argue that uh, social networks and peer effects in social networks are becoming uh, much more important to how we explain human behavior uh, than they ever have been. Um, the advent of technologies like Facebook and Twitter, social news aggregation websites, ratings websites, and digital domains that allow people to identify themselves to link to one another as friends or followers and then share information uh, is magnifying the level of uh, social influence, peer effects, and social multipliers in the economy and in society at large. Uh, and at the same time, making all of this social behavior much more visible and therefore able to be studied. Uh, so we have been, for the last 10 years, studying social networks and how individuals are influencing one another in behaviors that relate to health, that relate to productivity, innovation, uh, marketing, consumer demand, and so on. And what we find is that these peer effects or social multipliers are a very strong uh, explanatory mechanism for the population scale behaviors that we see in society. Um, and there are a number of different ways to study these behaviors. And I personally believe that uh, more and more uh, of these types of studies should be undertaken to understand our world in greater depth and in greater detail. And so I think in the next five or 10 years, we're gonna see a tremendous amount of advancement in our ability to uh, collect data on and analyze and understand peer effects in a number of different contexts. And I believe that this will translate directly to more effective social policies, business policies, and even individuals uh, behaving in, in society in a way where they're conscious of the effect that their behavior is having on the people around them and how we can uh, generate better outcomes in society through changes in social policy, business policy, and our individual behavior to improve everyone's lives uh, in a variety of contexts. So you must be very happy that people, uh, that the social media are so popular with people. Well, social media can have both positive and negative consequences. Uh, and I think that when we understand the, the social effects that social media have, uh, the way that they transmit information so quickly and so broadly. Uh, but the more we understand about how information is spreading and how we can have um, uh, policies that try to address the spread of misinformation, we can potentially avoid a lot of the negative consequences uh, of social media and harness its power.